We are moving into part five of my summer 2022 makeup collection and declutter series. Today we are tackling our single highlighters. I do have a lot. I have a pretty good idea of what I'm wanting to move out of my collection. I'm mainly just wanting to make more room so I can have more room for new stuff coming in and also so that I can find the things that I'm wanting to try. When it comes to highlighters, I haven't really been using them as much as I do my blushes. So whenever I go into my highlighter drawer, sometimes I get a little overwhelming because there's just so much in there. It's a little bit chaotic and just want to kind of curate a little bit more. Make sure the products loving are, you know, right there front and center so that I can see them and easily grab them. But let's go ahead and jump into this declutter. So now it is time to tackle my highlighters. And as you can see, I have a lot the top drawer is mainly pressed powder highlighters. I do have a couple of creams in here, but mainly the top drawer is just the pressed powders. I also keep in this drawer my bronzers, my powder bronzers, and pressed face powders. Although what I'm going to do first is to go on ahead and pull my pressed face powders out of this drawer and go ahead and move them into the drawer where my loose powders are. I was keeping them in here because I didn't have room before in the loose powder drawer, but since I've moved some things around, I do have room for my powders now. So I'm going to go ahead and move all those out of here. Now I have plenty of room for my pressed bronzers. So I'm going to go ahead and move these and then we will come back and get to decluttering these highlighters. Let's start with bronzers. I'm not going to be decluttering any of these except for one and it is from Half Caked. It is the Candy Paint Cream Bronzer in Cubby. There's nothing wrong with the formula per se. It's just that I kind of realized I'm not into cream bronzers. I prefer powder bronzers this one just didn't really work for me the way that I was hoping it would. And the undertone is also too cool toned for me. I prefer something warmer. So I'm going to pass this one on to my daughter. All the other bronzes in here I'm going to be keeping. I just have mostly from Wet n Wild. These three are from Wet n Wild. You have the one from the k Collection. Very pretty. This one is from Fantasy Makers. This one is Dusk to Dawn very pretty warm toned bronzer. This one came out of an advent calendar, What Shady Beaches. This is my favorite bronzer that I currently have. So pretty. And then this one is the Ardell Vacay Mode. The shade is in Sex Glow Sunny Brown. I did a full face of makeup that I found at the Dollar Tree. And they had all these products from Ardell that were just so pretty. And this is one of them. And this is very pretty bronzer. And then my last powder bronzer here is from Giovi. This is the Sun Glow Shimmer Bronzer. There is not a shade name. This one came from Shop Miss A. Very pretty, glowy, warm tone bronzer. Love this one. Moving on to highlighters. These four are from Nomad. I'm definitely going to be keeping these. This one is the Stockholm one, Midnight Sun. The highlighters from Nomad are just so pretty. I wish the packaging wasn't so bulky, but it's a really pretty. This is Sydney Bathers. Balmoral Beach is what I think that one's called. This is more of a corally peachy tone. Nomad Around the World. Positano Sunrise. I swear I'm probably just butchering these names. This is a really pretty coral pink highlighter. Stunning. And then Around the World. Ko Fa Gan Moonlight. And this is a really pretty purple. These are stunning. This one is the Be Perfect Polar Vortex in Ice Queen. This formula is so pretty. This is my first highlighter from Be Perfect. Look at that. It looks kind of gold in the pan, but when you put it on, it's more of a champagne, just really glowy highlighter. So pretty. This is my only Jaclyn Hill product. This is the Turned On Highlighter. I'm not sure what the shade name is. I'm not really seeing it, but this one is a really pretty burgundy red so gorgeous on the skin so i'm going to keep that one too this is from essence this one this one and this one are the newest highlighters to my collection i actually just filmed a video using these so i'm definitely going to be hanging on to them these two are just the regular highlighters luminous glow sun showers and divine hanging on to those at least for now they may get decluttered later but like i said they're the newest ones to my collection, so I'm going to keep it for a little bit longer. And then we have the Make Beauty Fun Highlighter 20th Birthday Edition. This one has a really pretty kind of a gradient. It reminds me of the Ombre Blush from Winky Lux, 
very similar look. This is from Glam Light, the Mimosa Highlighter. I would definitely be keeping this one. It's just a really pretty kind of a, um, orange gold shift to it. Stunning formula. I'm also going to be hanging on to my Juvia's Place. This is the Tribe Highlighter Volume 2 by Juvia's. I find that the eyeshadow formula I'm not a huge fan of, but their blushes and their highlighters, especially the single blushes, are so pretty. Very, very pretty glowy highlighter. This is stunning. I'm going to be hanging on to my only Becca shimmering face powders that I have. I was very sad when Becca went out of business, but the shimmering face powder and the under eye corrector now with Smashbox, so you can still get those, which is good. This one is Opal. Very pretty formula. And then this one is Dreamsicle, which has an orange shift to it and then there's like a little swirl so pretty this one is from house laboratories this is the turn gel powder highlighter in golden hour glow lucha de sol this formula is stunning super super glowy on the skin has a very just really pretty gold shift oh my lord this one is stunning these two are from milani these are the ludicrous lights Peach Ella and Pinkaroo. This, these have made it through so many declutters, and I'm, I'm going to be keeping them. They're the only highlighters that I have like these. These reminded me a lot of the Supreme Frost highlighters from Jeffree Star, but not nearly as glittery. Very pretty shifty shades. Like I said, I don't have anything like these, so I will definitely be keeping them. I'm not going to be getting rid of these. These are stunning. I am going to declutter this one. This is the Perfect Press Highlighter from AOA Studio in lavish the formula is pretty but it doesn't perform the same way when like it did when i first got it it's just not as glowy and smooth as it was still pretty i just have so many other highlighters that have come into my collection that i like more so i'm going to go ahead and declutter this one that is literally the first highlighter that i have decluttered so far moving on to this section these are all of my kika milano ones let me do these two first i'm going to declutter these as well these are from malibu glitz toast and rosewood these are very subtle they're pretty they're actually advertised as pressed foundations do not buy these as foundations your face will just be like super shiny it's a very, very subtle glow. I like them when I first got them, but I don't know. Like I said, I've gotten so many more formulas in my collection that I just like more. So we're just going to go on ahead and let these go. But now we're going to look at my Kiko Milano ones. I, I think this is all the Kiko Milano pressed powder ones and then the liquid ones are in the second drawer. This one, so much drama. This is from the Holiday Gems collection that came out in December. This shade is... Shimmering Stardust. I ordered these products from Ulta. It came shattered. As you can see, I had to press it back in. I contacted Ulta, asked for asking to send me another one. It also came shattered because it was packed exactly the same way. I gave the other one to my daughter. This is really pretty though. Like it's a really, really pretty, just shimmery, glowy formula. So I am going to hang on to it. Just very, very unhappy with the fact that Ulta can't seem to get it together when, when it comes to packing and packaging products so that things don't come shattered because I've had multiple occasions where like highlighters especially come shattered. This one is part of the Fruit Explosion collection. This was part of their, one of their summer collections that came out in 2021. This one is Coral Sunset. So pretty. There are two little, I think these are strawberries that are in there. Smells so good it has like a fruity kind of a fragrance to it very pretty kind of a glow do i want to keep this one it looks like it's not as shiny as it was when i first got it mm. yeah i'm gonna go ahead and hang on to it a little bit more it may, it may get decluttered later but we're gonna keep it for now this one is the holiday fable collection divine glow highlighter in enigmatic bronze look at how pretty that is first of all so one thing about Kiko Milano is that they will get me every time with their packaging. This is stunning. This embossing just looks so luxe, luxurious. Let me see what we got here. This is a really pretty kind of a coppery bronze. Ooh, that, okay, that's looking nice. We're going to hang on to this. And I do wish the packaging wasn't so bulky. This is the same collection with the eyeshadow palette that I did declutter. 
The packaging is exactly the same. Most one thing I would say is I do wish the packaging was a little bit smaller, not so big. These last two are from the Unexpected Paradise collection, Golden River, and then the Dolce Diva collection in Lively Champagne. The compacts are really pretty. You see that? It has the little tropical leaves in that one. Oh! Oh my god! Okay, so I opened that compact and as you can see it shattered and there is now highlighter all over my drawer so this one is definitely going to go in the trash this is one of the ones that i did order from ulta that came cracked i repressed it but as you can see yeah definitely gonna have to trash this one not happy about it so this is gonna go in the trash i'm gonna keep this one i'll be right back guys i have to clean out this drawer before we move on all right i got all the broken highlighter out of the drawer so let's go on ahead and move on i am so mad i completely forgot that that highlighter was one of the ones that was broken i haven't pulled it out in so long but yeah let's go ahead and keep moving forward this one is from jcat beauty this is the you Glow girl baked highlighter in moon and back it's my only jcat beauty highlighter yeah, this one is looking kind of dull it was really super shiny when i got it but yeah i can see it's just it doesn't have the same glow that it had when i first got it so i'm going to declutter this one i'm also going to declutter this one from beauty bay this is the beam highlighter this one is very glittery it's not my favorite formula by any means i'm not into a glittery highlighter and this formula just doesn't work for me this one i'm going to be keeping this is from fainty beauty this is one of the kilowatt highlighters girl next door and chic freak this is the only one that i have from fainty beauty and this one is beautiful very pretty kind of coral pink tones definitely going to be hanging on to this one we are into the last section of this drawer and then we're going to be moving on to the second drawer which mostly has creams this one is also from kiko milano this is actually a blush in Florence Dream. This is from the Tuscan Sunshine Collection. This is one of the first products from Kiko Milano that I ever bought. It's a really pretty ombre. This one though is super super glowy and just works better for me as a highlighter. That's why I keep it in here. Also going to be hanging on to this one. This is from Alamar Cosmetics Flex Alert. This was part of the Encanto Collaboration Collection. This one has a gorgeous kind of green pink coral shift. This one is stunning. This one I'm going to declutter. This is from, this is a candy paint highlighter from Half Caked Sugar Cookie. This is a cream. This one is super balmy. It's almost too greasy for me. Just a little bit disappointed by the cream blush I loved, but the highlighter just didn't work for me. I'm going to pass this one on to my daughter. I'm also going to declutter this one. This is from Essence. This is a pure nude highlighter in Be My Highlight. I have seen so many people just rave about the pure nude highlighters from Essence. I have tried to make this work for me, but the, the glow is so incredibly subtle. I don't mind a subtle glow, but this one is practically non-existent. I don't know if it's because of my skin tone. Like maybe it just works better on fair to medium skin tones, but this one, just way too subtle. Just did not work for me so yeah i'm gonna go ahead and say goodbye i've kept this through my last couple of declutters but it's time i don't want to be hanging on to things just because i know other people love them i know it doesn't work for me so there's just no reason for me to keep hanging on to it this one is newer to my collection this is part of that care bears wet in a wild let your light shine sunshine bear so pretty it's a really pretty yellow sun shade like it this is pure sun in a compact so pretty these last three i will definitely be hanging on to these are the kimchi chic thaler get that glow duo highlighters this one is saint tropaz glow so pretty i will never be getting rid of these ever they will forever be in my collection this is aspen glow so stunning and the last one is hollywood glow this one has kind of a purpley shade this one right here has more of a purpley pink undertone gorgeous and that is the first drawer completed now let's go to the second drawer this drawer has a mixture of super shock creams liquids powders just a hodgepodge of different formulas these first ones these are part of that disney collaboration collection with ColourPop, the one that had like the designer princess collections and then the villains all of these will be keeping i'm not going to go through these i have shown all of these in my previous declutters so if you guys want to see those just go check out my playlist 
that are in there, so I'm not going to go through these again. But these are the villains and the Disney ones. I will be hanging on to those. This one is from that Pixie Hello Kitty collection. The shade is in Friendly Blush. It's a Hello Glowy Powder. This is a really pretty pink gold I like. I'm be hanging on to that one. This one I'm also going to be hanging on to. This is the Merry Luminizer. This is from the Balm. This is the mini. There is a full size. This is a little small kind of a mini travel size. Very pretty subtle highlighter. This one is a little subtle, but I really like this one over the Be Pure one from Essence. I just really like the way this one looks on my skin a lot more than that one. So yeah. Hanging on to this. This is one of the Super Shocks from ColourPop in Lunch Money. I got this on sale. I'd heard so many good things about this particular shade. This one and there's one other shade that I can't remember right now. So I went on ahead and I got it. And I like it. Very pretty. Very shiny. Very creamy. I do like the Super Shock formula. So hanging on to that one. It's just a really pretty glowy formula. I'm also going to be hanging on to this one. This is from Kika Milano. This is a Dolce Diva Glam Cushion Highlighter. This is part of their collection last year. This one leaves a really pretty bronzy glow to the skin. Love this one. This one I'm going to declutter. This one is part of the Festival Collection. This one just came out this year. This is shade number two. This one is more of a pink, except there's absolutely no glow to this, like really whatsoever. I mean, it looks like it's glowing there but when you blend this out in the skin like literally nothing really happens it just looks like it just blends right into the skin like not really impressed with this particular shade at all so I'm going to declutter this one this one I'm going to hang on to this is the elf jelly highlighter in dude this was one of my first introductions into like a liquid cream jelly type formula when it came to a highlighter and blush formula and this one is just stunning i'm also going to be hanging on to this one from elf this is the shimmer highlighting powder in topaz glow this will leave such a really pretty bronzy healthy glow to the skin gorgeous in the summertime love this one these four back here these have made it through, I think, three declutters, but I may go on ahead and let them go. I had a lot more, and I just kind of slowly whittled them down. If you've been watching my channel, if you've watched any of my previous declutters, you know, these are from 65 Roses Cosmetics. It was an independent brand that does not exist anymore. This is from a former friend. We were all admins in a makeup group. It was actually a Jeffree Star group. I do not deal with Jeffree Star anymore, but she wanted to start doing cream highlighters and she had named some of the shades after us. Fairy Glam Mother was my shade. This is so pretty. Her formula was just so pretty. She had, she stopped doing highlighters a long time ago, so she doesn't do them anymore. So pretty, but they are starting to dry out. Like I said, I've had these for a while. They've made it through so many declutters, see, as you can see doesn't even swatch anymore so yeah I'm gonna go ahead and let it go this one is goddess this one had a really pretty kind of a pink to green shift yeah you see yeah same thing rose this one was really pretty deep red similar to the one from Jaclyn Hill let's see this one is still pretty creamy hmm Okay, that one is still looking good. I'm going to go ahead and hang on to this one a little bit longer. And this last one is Phil and Fritzy. This is actually named after a drag queen. This one, gorgeous green to blue shift. Let's see. Okay, that one might still be okay. All right, yeah, that one's still okay. So I'm going to hang on to that one too. These two I'm going to throw away. Now, who knows? By my December declutter... These last two may be completely dried out, and I may be saying goodbye to those, but for now, we're going to hang on to them. All right, moving into this section, we have from LYS, my Aim High Pressed Highlighter Powder in Brave. Now, I'll admit that the LYS Pressed Powder Highlighter, this one is not one of my favorite formulas. I love the cream blush, but this one has like some micro glitters in it, which I'm not a huge fan of, and the, the glow is like really, really subtle. But it is pretty. It's newer to my collection. I'm going to hang on to it. Then we have my Uden's Eye Single Highlighters. This is the Norns Mesmerizer Spring of Life Highlighter. I guess that's the shade. This one has a really pretty blue shift to it. I mean, first of all, look at that. See that kind of a mosaic design in there? 
This one has kind of a pink to blue shift. Really pretty. Not a highlighter that I would wear every day, but it's nice to have something a little bit more unique in the collection. These two are the newest ones to their collection. This is part of the Soul Main 2 collection. Soul Main Moonlight Feel Highlighter in Moon Talk and Warm Shine. You're probably not going to be able to see the shift on camera, but this one has a really pretty green to blue shift. A little bit of purple too. Stunning. And then this one is more just warm. It's kind of a champagne gold yellowy shift to it. Both of these are stunning. This one is from Essence. This came out of an advent calendar and it is stunning. You guys may remember the actual opening of the advent calendar. The advent calendar was terrible. I think it was like $47 and those products were a joke. But this highlighter was actually really pretty. I was very impressed. Now though, it's not looking, yeah. I guess it's kind of lost some of the shine that it had when I first got it. I've had this one for about seven months. It was really glowy when I first got it. I don't know what's going on with it. But yeah, it definitely does not have that same shine. So I'm going to go ahead and declutter it. I have another Super Shock highlighter from ColourPop. This is part of that Tinkerbell ColourPop collection. Happy Thoughts. This one is stunning. This one is just oh, super, super pretty. So creamy, so glowy on the skin very bronzy shine i mean gorgeous these five are from shop missa every studios part of the paw paw charity line these are the glow within illuminating powders i did a video showcasing these and these are freaking stunning hopeless romantic so gorgeous wish on a star these all have like different finishes and different shifts and these are like I think a dollar or dollar 88 each I bought the full set so it was like seven something which is freaking amazing do no harm so pretty it's so one thing about shop miss a especially the AOA studio brand is it shows you that you can get some really amazing products and really good formulas that do not break the bank this shade is Kawhi. Very pretty purpley blue shift. Stunning. And the last one is Brunch Date. These are just gorgeous. This one and this one I'm going to be decluttering. This is the Essence Coffee to Glow Highlighter Beads. They're made to look like coffee beans. They smell good, but the, the formula doesn't really do anything. It's kind of messy. Doesn't have much of a glow. Packaging is not very good. We're going to get rid of that one. Same thing with this one. These are from BR Beauty. Pearl Blow Highlighting Beads. This one I got from Shop Miss A. They're okay. Formula just does not wow me. And I don't really like the messiness of the beads. This is my first time trying something like this. I don't think I'm going to get anything like this again. Just think it's too messy to work with. We're going to go ahead and get rid of this. I'm also going to declare this one. This is from LA Colors. This is the Strobing Illuminating Powder. This is newer to my collection. I did some testing out some newer LA Color products. This shade is in Flashing Pink. It's supposed to be kind of a strobing, um, shifting kind of a product, but it doesn't really do that. It's very, very subtle. It's not a bad formula. I just, It's just not for me. I'm going to pass this one on to my daughter. This one I'm going to be keeping. This is from Ardell. This is the Attitude Adjuster Shade FX Drops. I did a full video testing out new products from Ardell. This is also part of that um, the same video that I used that bronzer in, the Vacation, the Vacay bronzer. Beautiful liquid highlighter. The shade is in, I don't know what the actual shade is. It doesn't really say, but it's a beautiful bronzy glow to the skin. Gorgeous in the summertime. Love this highlighter. This is stunning. It's the only like true, true liquid highlighter that I have. I'm also going to be hanging on to this one. This is the, Pe the Tasty Peach from Revolution. This is one of the few highlighter formulas that I just really, really love from the brand. Smells like a peach, looks like a peach, just gorgeous. This this reminds me a lot of Too Faced, which I think is what they were going for. Very pretty though. This one I'm actually going to move into my powder drawer. This is a pressed face powder from, this is part of the Mulan uh, Revolution collection. The palette you'll be seeing whenever I get to the big eyeshadow palette video, but this is the I Love Revolution Disney Mulan Live by Honor Press Powder. I don't know if you're going to be able to see it, but... There's an embossing of Mushu in it. I'm going to move this out of the store and move it into my face powders. I'm also going to be keeping the only two loose highlighters that I have. This is the e.l.f. Nabella 
Nor Loose Highlighter and then the Juvia's Place Highlighter, the Royalty 2 by Juvia's Loose Highlighter. Both of these are beautiful. They've made it through my last cup of the clutters. I'm going to be hanging on to these. They're the only loose highlighters I have. The formulas are beautiful. I'm not a big loose highlighter person, which is why these are the only ones that I have. But I'm going to go ahead and keep these still kicking around for a while longer. We are almost done. We have two more highlighters and then I'm going to go ahead and kind of rearrange the drawers. These last two are part of the I Love Revolution Disney Princess collections as well. The Little Mermaid and the Princess and the Frog. This is the... what is this one called? See the Possibilities. Now, these two, the formula is... I would say it's not very good. When it comes to the Princess Collections, I Love Revolution, they don't put a lot of effort into the formula itself. It's mainly the packaging, which is stunning. This one is more of a deeper gold, and then this one is more of a purpley pink. The Princess and the Frog one is called Real Dreams Come True. But as we know, I got these strictly for the packaging, so the formula didn't, doesn't really matter to me where that is concerned. All right, so we have finished the declutter. This is everything that I'm getting rid of, and I think I actually did pretty good. Now, I'm going to go through everything and kind of rearrange so that we have more room and everything's looking a little more organized. So, let's do it. So I think everything is looking a lot more organized and I have more space in this bottom drawer for highlighters. So I think I actually did pretty good. Once again, it wasn't like super savage, but I did pull out the things that I weren't, wasn't using. So I'm happy overall with how this came out. If you enjoyed the video, if you're enjoying this series, please be sure to give the video a thumbs up. It really helps to get my videos into recommendations. If you are new to my channel, you are not already subscribed, I would love it if you would consider joining my little family and hitting subscribe. Make sure to tap the notification bell so you're notified of any videos coming up in the future. You can also follow me on my other socials. I'm on TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. Be safe, take care of yourself, and I'll see you in the next declutter. Mm -hmm.